back to another video in this video i'm going to share with you a couple of things you should never take for granted when you're having your foundation works done for your building project so let's get into it now the first thing i'm going to talk about will have to do with supply of blocks now once you're able to identify a vendor who supplies you with quality blocks the key here the key word here is quality blocks it is always good to stick with that particular vendor why the reason is that different vendors um, uses different size of molds to you know mold their blocks and you wouldn't want a situation whereby you're having your um, blocks being supplied by different vendors and at the end of the day the sizes don't match and it's going to end up creating something funny with your foundation work so when you identify a vendor who makes quality solid blocks or whichever type of blocks you want to use it is always best to stick with that particular vendor especially even throughout just the foundation and if the next day you want to use a different vendor that is fine so that would be my first step trying as much as possible to stick with one vendor who supplies quality blocks uh, for your foundation works now the next thing is going to be with using high quality grade um, cement so there's the 32.5 there's 42.5 are grade of cement that you know yeah, are options that you can go with when you're having your building project done but because um any building project the vital part or like the very crucial part of it is a foundation if you can afford try as much as possible to go with a 42.5 r to you know have a very firm solid foundation so that uh, you don't have to spend any extra to you know fix cracks and so many things you know when things don't go right so that would be my second um, tip trying as much as possible to use high quality grade of cement for your foundation works now the next one would be to always ensure that the right depth of foundation is being dark and uh, so the depth for the entire foundation as well as the columns so depending on the type of building that you want to put up being it a normal building or a story building there are different sizes of you know uh, columns or depth of foundation that you have to dig to achieve that so don't try to cut corners because you want to save on money and the rest it will be best if you are able to follow you know the right you know um, depth so you don't end up creating situations like challenges for your building in the near future and this will also be dependent of the places that you intend to build so depending on the nature of the soil but there will also um you know play a factor a role in the entire foundation work so try as much as possible to go with the right depth for the foundation as well as um, the columns which exist for the foundation now also try as much as possible to avoid rusted steel this is very important so some um, suppliers purchase steel in bulk and some of them are stored outside rains beating them and so on so in the end starts you know experiencing like this um uh, starts you know rusting and some you know can stay for a very long time and rust to certain points now this kind of you know steel has lost its tensile strength that you know possesses so then if you are using such steel for your building project at the end of the day it's not going to give you a solid or a firm um project especially for the foundation so try as much as possible to avoid rusted steel so whenever steel is being supplied try to be there make sure that they are not supplying or giving you any rusted steel which is uh, in the end going to create situations for your building project so that will be the next step try to avoid rusted steel the next step is going to be ensuring the right size of concrete when you are having your concrete works done for the foundation especially in the pit which is dark for the foundation as well as when you're casting the columns you have to ensure the right size of you know um, concrete so for mostly the foundation like when the walls are erected and the concrete are being cast at the very edges the concrete are done in a triangular form to hold the blocks very firm so it's very important to you know try to do that or anything that is going to help you know hold your um, foundation very firm so you don't have to think of reducing the size of the concrete just to you know, save money, money and so on and even in the pit you have to ensure the size right size of concrete being cast now this is going to be different based on what type of building project you are putting up so i'm not going to give any specific sizes and the rest so you just have to try as much as possible to ensure that the right things are being done and then also if you are building at places that are waterlogged try as much as possible to use waterproof cement to help you know prevent water from you know coming into the foundation so that is also very important trying as much as possible to use waterproof cement at places that has got you know waterlogged and then also my final tip is going to be 
trying as much as possible to avoid damp so using the damp proof membrane at the very first stage of the foundation after the pit has been dug before the concrete comes in and then after that once you have your uh, foundation walls erected trying to use a damp proof um, paint to also paint the inner part as well as the external part if it's really really required in your situation so um, this are going to be my tips for this particular video uh, the very first one is you know using a particular vendor for the supply of your blocks which is going to be quality blocks using high quality grade of cement for your works avoiding rusted steel um, digging the right depth for your foundation as well as the columns um, having the right size of concrete for the foundation works as well as using waterproof cement as situations where it's waterlogged and then also finally using um, damp proof membrane as well as um, damp proof paint to prevent damps of walls during your building project so that'll be just about it i would like to hear more from you in terms of uh, what other tips or steps that you also would want to share in the comment section so that we are all able to learn from that so that'll be just about it for this video thank you for watching bye for now